this episode, we're going to have a look at mailers, and mailers are one of those things that aren't exactly easy to get right. And one cool thing about Rails, on your local host, you do have access to a Rails mailers path, and with this, we're going to create some nice HTML markup emails. And these emails are going to be responsive, and the way to do this over the years has changed. I did do an episode before on foundation emails, and that was a good approach. However, I really don't like that approach anymore, simply because I still have to maintain all of the different assets for those emails, and it can be really heavy in certain situations. And so in this episode, we're going to look at how we can create nice looking emails like this without too much effort. Creating the actual layout is still going to be a bit time consuming as there is a lot of design aspects to it. However, our approach is going to be a lot simpler and it's going to be very manageable on the Rails application side. And to do this, we are going to be using MJML, which I have used on a few different projects in the past and it is just a lot easier to work with than a lot of the alternatives. And one thing that I really like about it is that we have a way that we can try these out, and there's also a large resource of templates. So you'll see the Austin template that we had before, and it looks pretty on par with what they had. And the markup is semi-familiar, but there are some additional tags that we will need to become familiar with. But our main goal here is to have these really nice looking emails while still being fairly unobtrusive within our Rails application. And did you know that you can go to railsstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.